Weather now with Jenny Woodward. And Jenny, we've been talking a lot about wet weather. How much rain is coming our way? Well, Matt, in the southeast, there are some bigger totals on the forecast. Hello, everyone. Daily falls of 10 to 40 millimetres are possible from Friday to Monday and potentially more than that under severe storms. And those heavy falls are expected to extend well south of the border too. But today, mostly fine and sunny, apart from some activity about the far northern Cape. Urundangi, the hot spot, was 42 degrees. It hit 40 in Winton, 29 in Mackay and Harvey Bay and 10 the coolest this morning at Applethorpe. 31 to 32 across the city, 28 in Redland and currently we're sitting on 25 degrees. And everyone has been enjoying the beautiful colours at both end of the day. Thanks Paul for this rather moody shot while Mitchell was in the pink at Wungara Dam in Bundaberg. Ross caught the sun peeking through the clouds at Yapoon while there was an early mist at Stanthorpe. Thanks Richard. Well on the satellite you can see the storms in the tropics, 41 millimetres today at the Sugar Base near Weeper. Currently we've got severe storms over New South Wales ahead of the trough and front, while in the west, tropical cyclone Charlotte is weakening. The big inland trough is heading our way and there's also a developing upper trough and low. So we're going to see showers and storms starting to pop up tomorrow, but the heavier falls are likely to start from Friday. But severe storms are possible tomorrow about the southeast inland. Looking into state and Sydney is expecting a wet day, 20 millimetres of rain, 22 degrees, 23 expected in Adelaide and 34 for Alice Springs. Let's check forecasts and fine and sunny about the north tropical coast and into the goldfields and upper Flinders. Some showers and storms otherwise most likely on the far northern Cape. We'll see showers and storms about the southern and central interior with severe cells bringing heavy rain and damaging winds possibly in the south. Showers and storms in the southeast too with severe cells expected more likely about the Downs, the Granite Belt and the Scenic Rim and there's the potential for heavy falls. Brisbane's heading for a top of 29. There's the chance of a shower or a storm through the afternoon and evening. While we're looking at variable winds on the bay early, but then east to northeasterly winds to 15 knots by afternoon. And then that wet weather is going to continue with falls of 10 to 15 millimetres per day over the weekend, up to 25 millimetres on Monday. And Matt, we do need to keep an eye on the forecast and the warnings because we could see isolated heavier falls as well coming into the mix. OK, yeah, it looks like a wet week on the way. Thank you, Jenny. And that is news to the moment. Thanks very much for your company. We'll keep you up to date on our website as always. But right now here on ABC, it's time for 7.30. Good night. Good night.